Hello and welcome back to Anywhere Bit Here, episode 320. My name is Tom. And my name's Ann. And you can find us at abhpod.com, where if you scroll down, you can find an Amazon banner. We talk a bit about this on the episode, actually. Mm -hmm. Find that Amazon banner, click on that Amazon banner and go to amazon.co.uk and do your shopping. Say, for example, for Stranger Things box set one to three. Uh, and you, we get 5% of your total basket spend at the end of your purchase. You don't spend anymore. Uh, we just take 5% of the money that would otherwise go directly to Jeff Bezos's pocket. And uh, we keep it for ourselves. And it helps us to host the website on the internet for the year. And also, if you uh, want to support us on a more regular basis, um, I think like a monthly subscription, but like a really well-priced one, uh, for as little as a dollar a month, if you go to abhpod.com, scroll down near that Amazon banner, there is a Patreon banner. Um, for like I say, a dollar, a pound a month, I don't know, a, a single unit of your local currency, as I like to say, because I don't know how it works anymore. <laughs> you get extra content, you will get this main episode without this laboured intro you will get this main episode in video form honest you will also get uh, exclusive after the podcast podcast which go out only to our patron uh, supporters you get spoiler casts once we when we record them instead of waiting for a little bit down the road when we want to take a break so we'll put the spoiler cast out on the main feed uh, you can find us on the social media platforms we're on twitter at abhpod we're on facebook uh, at ABH Podcast, and uh, we are on youtube.com slash ABH Podcast. That's right. You can also email us abhpod at gmail.com if you've got any comments on what we've spoken about. Um, not many people email us. It might be quite nice. Robbie does. Robbie does, yes, in fact. And we should have probably shouted him out on the episode, but we didn't. Sorry, Robbie. Um, hey, he won't hear this. He's a Patreon supporter because he's a great guy. <laughs> That's true. We'll mention it on the Patreon episode. <laughs> <laughs> On this episode, we talk a lot about Netflix and what's going wrong over there, what might be going right, and subscription services in general. Uh, yeah, we also discuss Moon Knight, um, how that's going, how we're feeling about it, uh, where it fits in the Marvel Universe and things. The Earth has chosen its champion, the mightiest hero. And first, though, I feel like I need to, to have an intervention, Ant. Oh, really? Okay. Enjoy. Yeah. Right, we're here. We are. Uh, as I was setting up my laptop, do you know what I realised? What's that? I didn't do a video for the last episode. Oh, did you not? I didn't get around to do it because we recorded on the Saturday. And I was like, I'll do the video. And we're like, oh, there's no rush, actually. It's Saturday. And then, no, no, it's gone. This is totally what forgot. happens. I should just tell you that there is a fucking rush, shouldn't I? <laughs> there's definitely a rush. We should be doing it. We should be. No, oh, it well. didn't get done. Apologies <laughs> to our like horde of people that watch our videos on patreon <laughs> yes <clears throat> the thing is it's not that I'll, i will put it up so there isn't like a gap um but i, I will put it up anyway um <laughs> just 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 because of like my anal nature like don't want a gap in the videos if exactly. we can help it yeah <laughs> but oh man so uh i saw you went to watch wicked again last night how many times is too many I don't know, mate. Like, I'm not the person to ask, really, because like, I'm the one that keeps going. Um, yeah. I just don't know whether I should be starting to stage an intervention. How many times is this now? I, we, can, we can't remember. We, we always sort of like forget. I mean, when, the fact when you can't remember how many times you've been, probably too many times, isn't it? <laughs> but we know it's seven, possibly eight. Right, Okay. I mean, there is a reason it's been on that theatre for 15 years now, and it is called The Collett Family. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you must be single-handedly. There's, okay. there's probably about Given five. Whole production going. Yeah, 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 definitely. Because <laughs> you take people all the time as well. It's not just the two of you. Yeah, it's it, it's kind of like, a look, <clears throat> this is why we love it so much. Um, mm. And to be fair, we're, we're planning. So... <sighs> One of the the, the, the actress who's playing the, the Alpha Barol now, her name's Lucy Jones. She was she's been on what was she on? I think she was on like X Factor or something, or or one of the Andrew Lloyd Webber sort of like musical. Um, yeah. you remember when he did the How to Solve a Problem Like Maria? Yeah, and then he did um, I'd Do Anything, which is the Oliver one. Oh, and, really? Yeah, I didn't. Um, 
but yeah, so he's done a few. He did like the Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat one. Oh, right. I think it was Joseph. Yeah. Have they done a whole series of those, have they? They've, they've done a few different ones. Oh. Yeah. I think it's okay. only the three to be. Oh, no, they did a Dorothy one. They did a Wizard of Oz one as well. Um, right. I don't think we've watched that one. But, anyways, <clears throat> this Lucy Jones, she was the one, and we saw her in Waitress a little while mm-hmm. ago. She's fantastic. And now she's doing the role of Alpha. But, but yesterday it was her understudy. Ah. Uh. We're going to have to go again. We can't help it. We're just, just going to have to go again. Um, but yes, no. To be fair, the understudy was absolutely incredible. Like, mm. just blew us out. Like, we understudies are great anyway because they're not only understudying for that role, but they're also doing other roles in the show as well. Um, yeah, not quite as diverse as like swings who basically fill any role when someone's out. Like Can an understudy anything, will have yeah. a role. And then, but also standing for this role, mm. but like a swing can do any role on the stage, um, which is just insane. Yeah. But yeah, the understudy, she was absolutely incredible. Um, mm. Way more than we expected. But yeah, so this this was a Mother's Day present for my mum and um, Liz's mum. They've wanted to go for quite some time now. So mm. we brought them tickets for Mother's Day this year and <laughs> took them. And they both loved it. Was it their first time seeing it? It was their first time, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it was Chloe's fifth time, so she's got a bit of catching up to do. But yeah. um, Chloe's girlfriend wants to see it as well now. As oh, well, well, there you so, go. So we've got an excuse. <clears throat> we got like you know, oh, we yeah. can go again because we're taking Chloe and her girlfriend to see it. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So is it is it that because you, you just under, I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be a supportive, a, an, an understanding and supportive friend and podcast partner. <laughs> And make sure that it's not a uh, something we need to worry about and have yeah, an intervention yeah, yeah. for. I mean, I don't want you to go bankrupt, basically. Is what I'm... <laughs> it's cool. I just got a pay rise, Tom. It's fine. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Humble brag. Not going bankrupt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Like, is it like, is it every time there's a new cast member, you've got to check them out to kind of benchmark them against the others or no, not, not even that. I mean, the fact it's just a show we love. Um, mm. you know, it's the first one we went to together. It's sort of like we themed our wedding around it type thing. Um, like my, my speech was sort of took that and mentioned, it's just something that we love. It's like our favorite show. Um, mm. It's just the experience as well. I think it's just being there and experiencing it. Cause they're making a film of it and it's, I'd probably like, even if the film's great, I'd probably still go see the show because it's just being there. It's the atmosphere. It's just seeing it live. Mm. It's one, like the staging of the show is just incredible. Like I just, mm. yeah, it's just an experience. It's something we love. Um, you know, we were tempted to go and see if there were Hamilton tickets because we went to a matinee. So, you know, we had an evening free, um, <laughs> But we didn't, <laughs> because that would just be silly. We've done it the other way around, where we saw Hamilton matinee and then went to Wicked in the evening. Wow. Yeah. And that was when I was at the hospital, so I had to get up for work at like six o'clock the next day as well. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it's a spectacle. It's a, it's a fantastic story. It's like... <clears throat> you know, you, like we've t- talked about it in the past, like Maleficent, you've got that story of the actually Maleficent's not evil she's misunderstood this is like one of it's like it's not even the original because that's like a age-old trope isn't it but yeah but this one's just done really well mm. um yeah so I don't know. but everyone had a good time that's yeah. what matters yeah I love it mm. always it's always a good time <laughs> always. I just feel like I need to keep tabs and keep a little tally or something like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, we actually saw uh, our friends Sam Mason. Um, mm. So when we got on the train in Victoria to come home, her and her partner were sort of walking down the platform and sort of banged on the window and waved at them. Mm. Then when we got out at Maidstone, as I was walking to get the car, they were sort of at the top of the hill. Oh, right. So I stopped and had a chat with them and we might have brought merchandise. <laughs> As we do <laughs> we, we buy these have, snow globes they, right they, yeah. wicked does these snow globes and there's they they do like i don't know if it's like a seasonal thing but they do one every quarter they change it so it's a new snow globe we've got five of them um <laughs> <laughs> and 
have it might be a problem um <laughs> might have a problem but anyway as i was walking up the hill i just showed her because she knows like our relationship with wicked as well so i just yeah. turned the background and showed her she's had this disappointed look and how many times is that now <laughs> no, See, that everyone, first question everyone's worried about you she, is, uh... to be fair she's seen it numerous times as well because she's a big musical theater knob but uh, um, nerd as well. I was, say, I was gonna say nerd, was gonna say snob, <laughs> miss the S. <laughs> I'm the knob. She's a big <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, she's a big musical musical theatre snob as well. So she understands. You know, she, she I think when she was a music teacher, she took one of her classes up there and they did like the backstage tour and sort of did the orchestra right. pit and sort of did a school thing. And, you know, mm. that was purely for the students and there was no selfish thing there, sure. I, sh- I should imagine. You know? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, sure. To be fair, Sam's even got a wicked tattoo. I haven't got one of those. Oh, wow. So, okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I should be less worried then, perhaps. <laughs> it only comes to the point where you get the tattoo yeah. that I might start to really start uh, worrying. Mm. Mm. But no, it's great. It's great. Uh, you know, I understand people don't like musical theatre. It's fine. Mm. You know, or they're not they don't like it. They just don't get it. Yeah. It's that's, fine. You yeah, know. that's that's more where I am. It's not that yeah. I dislike it because I've been to musicals. And I don't mind it, but um, yeah, seeing the same thing over and over again. But then, you know, I, how many times have I watched Alien? Yeah. You know, and nothing about that changes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's exactly the same every time you watch it, whereas, you know, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's got to the point now. Where... <laughs> However, I don't have to pay for a train and a meal and uh, and tickets every time that I see it. It's kind of one and done. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's fair. That's <laughs> I don't fair. have to chase a pay rise to You're watch not- Alien again <laughs> 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 to, to feed my habit. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> but you know, it's it's got to the point now where, like, we were sat there and as the show started, we just went, that's different. That's new. They've changed that. Right. <laughs> like, it's got to the point where we're spotting differences with it now. They've slightly changed the font. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next thing, next time, next time it'll be a trip to Broadway to see it, just fly over to New York just to watch it. Oh, what's it like over here? <laughs> I mean, at least then you're sort of mixing it up with a holiday. Yeah, exactly. But that I would mean, be really expensive because I can't imagine if we ever did go to New York and Broadway, we'd only watch one show. No, you would watch, you would go up and down the whole of Broadway, just wouldn't you, I guess? Ones, yeah. Go watch <laughs> I some saw, Broadway um, productions. Like some I saw of Chicago on Broadway. Oh, really? I've yeah, not seen yeah. Chicago yet. Oh wow! I've seen a I've seen a musical you haven't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've not seen Chicago. Yeah, but yeah, I'd quite like to. To be fair, and that I've was good. That's got one of my favourite um, musical theatre songs in it. Anyway, yeah. um, Mr. Cellophane. Oh is, yeah, that's yeah. One of my favourite musical songs that there is. Yeah, that's a really clever one as well, isn't it? Because it's um, yeah, just being see-through nobody knows yeah. this is you like it's, it actually hits quite hard that song yeah yeah it's yeah, it, yeah. it spoke to my emo soul <laughs> yeah <laughs> it is isn't it <laughs> yeah uh, i don't know um yeah I've, so i messaged you because we started a bit late later this morning we were going to plan to go at 10 but i said can we hold off because i just had my breakfast but also, I started my medication for ADHD this week as well. Mm. It's been an experience. It's been a bit strange. Okay. Um, I was sort of getting to grips with it now, but it's it's odd because I'm trying to think of the best way to, to sort of describe. Like when I first took it with my breakfast, mm. I sort of got like a buzz for like 45 minutes. Okay. Like it felt like my brain was going 100 miles an hour. Mm. which you would think it was supposed to stop that yeah but i think after the fact when i thought about it one of my colleagues who started his medication a couple of months uh, a few yeah a couple of months ago now he said it's like his brain is racing but it's only racing about one particular subject <clears throat> right rather okay than darting all over the place it's like just on one subject so yeah. it, it sort of focuses you but it also because it's like an amphetamine, my my particular one. It's <laughs> <laughs> um, it's sort of like it's it's really weird because it 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 focuses you, but it also makes your brain go 
like but yeah. that's, that's only for like the first hour or so and then for the rest of the day it's it's not too bad right but i'm trying to figure out the best time to take it with food like this morning i took it with food i'm aware that i'm just sort of like just talk 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 at the minute <laughs> um but this morning i took it with food whereas yesterday i took it i had my food and then took it about half an hour later and it was less right less of a buzz so i don't know if it's like gives my body a bit of energy to sort of i don't mm. know because I always say it out at the minute. <laughs> take certain medications with food, but you're never quite sure whether you should take it at the same time as food or after or food. Leave it until just before food. Yeah, like yeah, when yeah. You take it. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it's that sort of thing. This one, specifically the one I'm on, it's called Elvance. It's a looks so I don't know something amphetamine. It's it's, it's literally in the name. Mm. Um, but I think when it was first being produced. It was as a dietary supplement to Mm. aid with, um, sorry, an appetite suppressant, sorry, rather than dietary supplement to help with uh, binge eating, people with binge eating disorders. Right. Because it it basically stops you feeling hungry Mm. is the whole idea of it. It stops you wanting to eat so much, but then they realize it actually helps with ADHD. So now it's pretty much just an ADHD medication. I see. So that's why they say have a eat with your mm. medication or eat before your medication so you've actually had a decent meal because yeah, you might otherwise, not eat later yeah, yeah, on yeah, yeah. um i've not found that to be too much of an issue because i'm a habitual eater anyway like when i'm at work working away i, I snack mm-hmm. that's what i do i've got my bag down there with a bit a few snacks in it and i'll just eat them yeah throughout the day and at lunchtime, I have my lunch. I know I need to eat my, and, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit, it's habitual for me, which is yeah. it's quite good. I find I eat less at home. Like I snack less at home than when I'm in the office because yeah, at home, I, it's weird because I've got to go to the cupboards and pick something out. Whereas at work, I've already picked it out. It's there to eat. Mm. So I just eat it. Yeah, I was the same. But then like the, the constant grazing and snacking at work did, uh, Mm-hmm. pile a few pounds <laughs> and buy a few pounds apparently two stone <laughs> it's it's ridiculous uh home working like when i started mm. working i've just i've got like the pure gym because i could mm. do pure gym and the first time i used the machine i was and it's ridiculous so this is <clears throat> after i joined the gym mm. this happened um i'm trying to figure out the app's slightly different to the machine there yeah when I started there, seven for me. Oh, I did I? I'm trying to think where it is now. Oh, basically, down at the seventh of May, I was probably eighty nine kilo. Right. I'm currently sat at ninety five. Like, what's happened? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just steadily going. I know some of it will be because I'm. I've built muscle. Yeah. I, I need to look at my fat percentage to actually see the the true yeah. impact of it. Yeah, but That's it is shocking well. though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have looked at that. <laughs> I was gonna say, but it, it's one of those things it, it it's um it's not a instant uh change, is it? <clears throat> uh no, you know, weight weight loss and muscle gain and all that kind of stuff takes time to level out. Yeah, yeah. And, and to be uh, fair, we're not, we literally, we're doing that thing where we're going to the gym and we're not backing it up with diet as well. We're yeah. trying. I like, literally, the only reason I do any exercise, yeah, the only reason <laughs> I do any exercise at all is so that I can continue to drink the occasional yeah. alcoholic beverage and snack and eat basically what I want and not, yeah, you know, it's, become it's, it's a to, horrendous monster. <laughs> That's it. I want to stay where I am. I don't want yeah. to lose any. I just want to stay where I am. I'd like to be able to lose yeah. some, but um, I certainly don't want to put any more on. Uh, okay That's okay where I am. Yeah, you know, yeah. It'd be nice. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not upset about by it. It's, it doesn't affect my, like, it doesn't affect me psychologically. I'm okay yeah. where I am. Yeah. I'd be nice to lose a bit and look a bit better, but... I like to but, you know eat. yeah exactly I I, I like quite crisps. enjoy my I quite enjoy my lifestyle which I know is sedentary and uh and yeah. probably full of food and drink that I shouldn't be having that's it as he opens his bottle of coke yeah <laughs> it's the, it's uh, it's the only you know that I don't have any vice. other vices I don't yeah. smoke I don't do drugs yeah so you know bad food and beer 
Yeah, I didn't do uh, drugs. I do. I do amphetamine now. Yeah, so. yeah. You've gone straight <laughs> prescribed straight back amphetamines. To, yeah, yeah. That's fine. But, yeah. <laughs> You know, it's it's over the counter, so therefore fine, right? I mean, after yeah. our uh, conversation about the American healthcare system, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, um, so I need to double check. I need to because we're going to Spain next month. I need to get in touch with the embassy just to make sure I can get my information <laughs> over borders. <laughs> no, we're not part of the EU. Like yeah, the rules are going to be changed. Um, yeah, yeah, maybe. About, Drug trafficking. Um, mm. It'll be in my suitcase. It'll be fine. Um, mm. But yeah, I mean, like my advice is it's like crisps and not even chocolate. Like, I, I like my dark chocolate, which isn't too mm. bad, but it's just crisps, mate. Yeah, like, Sav- savoury snacks. <sighs> savoury snacks. Peanuts. Peanuts. Yeah. I've got three bags of like peanuts out there, like two 200 gram bags. Of yeah, I, I tend not to buy myself peanuts because I can get into a world of pain with them because they're just, you just don't stop. I like, I don't buy them for myself. No, no, <laughs> this, this is, is it. Trip. Like I get a a large can of them off my stepdad every Christmas, and every Christmas I've kind of forgot how much I love peanuts, yeah. and then he gives me this can, and it's one of those KP the ones. KP sorted, like, like yeah, that. yeah, giant chunk, yeah, and uh, and then that's me for like a couple of weeks, just continually like. Mm, just got, every time I go to the kitchen, it's like tip handful yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's sorted peanuts. You know, if it was like a bag of, you know, like mixed nuts, like almonds and cashews, yeah. like, that'd be fine. Yeah. Because they're not particularly, <laughs> they're not bad for you, really. They're not I mean, coated. They're, really, they're fatty, but... Yeah, um, but they're actually, it's good, but, it's, it's good, uh, good fat and good fat, yeah. protein and stuff like that, isn't it? Whereas, um, <laughs> so, you know, dry, dry roasted or salted <laughs> peanuts are covered in oil and Honey salt. roasted peanuts, mate. Oh. But yeah, um, <laughs> but yeah, it's um, every year Liz's mum gets me like a, a kilo bag of um, pistachios, right? <laughs> and they're even worse because they, I don't know if it's everyone, like if it's just me or if it's everyone, but it, it it's it's the it's the what's the word I'm looking for? It's the, the whole ri- process, the ritual, yeah, 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 the ritual of eating. It can, yeah. It's like pill that, oh yeah. It's a ritualistic thing as well. So I end up with like a bowl just full of pistachio shells. <laughs> and the next day I go, oh my God, so why do they hurt so much? <laughs> oh, because you just filled up on nuts. Yeah. Um, not good for you. Hold on. Filled up on nuts is a good title for good this point. show. <laughs> <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> Yeah, Ironic, um, ironically, it's all uh, it's also my uh, drag name. It's French. <laughs> it's French. It's Phil Dup on nuts. <laughs> oh, <laughs> What's that? that doesn't sound French actually, does it? What's that? Dup on nuts. It's like an Eastern European name. Dup on nuts. Dup on nuts. Uh, yeah, yeah, Phil yeah. Dup on nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, it could be French, Dupont. It could be, yeah, yeah, like Dupont, the, the chemicals yeah. company. Yeah, Phil yeah. Dupont nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because bridge, bridge in French is pont. Pont, yeah. Pont neuf yeah. in, in Paris. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but I'm glad that you've got things to talk about because I've got fuck all to talk about this week. Um, um, yeah, I mean, it's I just... probably would be more of, why did you just call me Mark? Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm caught Watched... up with that. Which one did we watch? We may have watched this week's episode now. Yeah, I think we have. Mm. It ended a bit odd. Uh, yes. Yeah, because... Um, yes, it did end a bit Pit odd, didn't it? Yeah, it ended up in a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Which is funny because that was him singing that on one of the late shows. Oh right, I yeah, yeah I didn't see I'm that. Oscar Isaac, yeah, um, mm. yeah, that was yeah. Um, again, I think just before that part, like literally just before that particular shot, Liz just looked at me and went, I have no fucking idea what's going on. <laughs> and then that happened, and she was like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, it's all very strange. Um, I but... I, I kind of have a bit of a background of the character, right? I didn't really know anything about him, but. Uh, the new guy at work is a big Moon Knight fan, like reads the comics and stuff. So he's explained some bits to me and I'm like, okay. So it's uh, kind right. of making sense to me. 
but I don't yeah. really want to tell yeah you, I mean I've not I I, weirdly I've not kind of read up on Moon Knight mm. kind of the I've, uh, he's only ever crossed over into one comic I've ever read mm. um, and you get the impression that yeah he's just a guy with I knew he was a guy with multiple personalities. Yeah, yeah. Essentially that's basically all I knew about him. So um Yeah, but I think even knowing that you can kind of <clears throat> make peace with what happened at the end of the last the episode. Oh yeah, yeah. You're definitely. Like, oh, okay, you know. Yeah, he's... like it's it's he's in his mind, I assume. Um because he's just been shot. That's so weird. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was just so bizarre. Um mm. but I'm really liking it. Yeah, yeah, I'm it's enjoying really it. Cool. I think there must only be like one or two episodes left, aren't there? This yeah, is the it's fourth a short episode, one, isn't it? Yeah, it's like there's six. only six. It's a short, short series. But <clears throat> did you notice that all of the characters in that final scene were also people from or people or things from the other episodes as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you got the like gold it's... statue guy was there. It was the old guy with the long white hair? You got a guy mm. playing with a Rubik's cube, which is what he does. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's um, it's almost like the subconscious. It's like dreams, isn't it? You know, mm-hmm. where certain things like it, 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 your subconscious takes everything in and then tries to make sense of it later mm-hmm. on, which often comes across as not making any sense at all, which is why dreams are so weird. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But interesting to kind of see what's going on with it. Um <laughs> It's just a shame because I think it's just so out there and weird that I don't think people are going to like it as much. Mm. I don't know. I've not read any reviews or seen what people are saying about it, to be fair. Well, it's probably the first thing that they've done except for maybe Eternals and probably Guardians of the Galaxy that have absolutely nothing to do with the wider universe. Yeah. Like, so from one point of view you can watch it without the baggage of the entire mcu yeah and just enjoy it for what it is but on the other hand on the other hand it's very deep rooted in um egyptian myth and uh that can be i don't know maybe i don't know maybe people would find that hard to deal with Mm. uh but it seems like this phase of the marvel universe is definitely kind of myth magic and uh and really fucking multi-dimensions yeah. and like gods are real and all that kind of stuff it's it's weird isn't it because it's kind of like they've they started with hey these are superheroes let's go straight up superhero yeah and they put guardians and you've got a walking tree and a talking raccoon and so you've got aliens definitely going, that's weird yeah, yeah and now marvel going you thought that was weird <laughs> <laughs> wait for this <laughs> I, mean, I think it kind of started with wandavision didn't it where you kind of got wonder controlling that whole town yeah and, and and doing that whole sitcom through the years thing people mm. are watching it like what is going on this is so weird yeah um, but the payoff was great but they started that with characters that you kind of knew where you kind so of, you kind like of... It, was, it was believable <laughs> that she could do that because of what you know that she can do with her powers anyway like she's yeah. a she's a psychic um, you know she can control people and manipulate things with her mind so you're yeah. like oh well of course she can do that yeah, yeah. If she's in a heightened state of even in like the first or second episode where that you didn't really know what it was about. It just seemed like a shit sitcom. Mm, <laughs> like mm. it just seemed like a really old sitcom. It was only once Darcy and everyone came into it, you started getting, oh, okay, right. Something's happening. Let's yeah, stick with it. But mm. yeah, um, mm. this though, it's like a character. Nobody knows he's not linked to anything, but he is Marvel. So people are going to watch it mm. because it's Marvel, but it's weird. Mm. But cause... also you got to think by the end of WandaVision as well, you then had literal witches and witchcraft and magic. Yeah. By the end of it, it was just magic. And you're like, oh, they've yeah. managed to drip feed this in. Yeah. And because we're okay with Scarlet Witch being able to do this stuff, we're now yeah. got Agatha and that whole, you know, yeah. the what's the what's the book called? Um oh fuck. I have to, I can't remember. But yeah. it's 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 what I was saying to this guy at work as well. It's like it's I love because he was saying it's really cool because Marvel, like we've always had with Thor, you've got the Norse mythology. Mm. but it's kind of not straight up Norse mythology they're, they're based yeah. on Norse Norse mythology but now yeah. with like Moon Knight you've got like actual Egyptian gods yeah um, 
But then um, you've got to think like, are they going to be in the same, you know, like as guardians were basically aliens mm. uh, who watch over the nine realms or whatever yeah, yeah. it is. Uh, and, and therefore they appeared uh, to humans and they were godlike. So they like the were the Eternals as well, but even, yeah, yeah. But they're separate, aren't they? They're, <laughs> whereas we got these Egyptian girls and I was like but then also with WandaVision you had like witches and not like Scarlet Witch who, where it's just a name like mm. Agatha's like actual Salem witch like yeah, yeah. she's like, actually a witch yeah <laughs> as far as we know like yeah. where does and that even come like from, but... you know when you're talking about um, Spider-Man Far From Home as well and uh, you know MJ and uh, what's his Ned? face Ned uh you know get inside the sanctum sanctorum and they're like oh what actual magic yeah oh you're actually a sorcerer yeah <laughs> yeah because yeah. uh, it is like his his whole thing is is it's magic kind of coated in eastern or indian um spirituality yeah because they're like, almost like i oh know i'm thinking of iron fist where they were monks weren't they hmm yeah, these are slightly different, but yeah. Because he went to like Kathmandu, didn't he? And to train with the with almost, the the ancient one and Yeah, the ancient one almost looks almost like a Buddhist, isn't it? Mm. It's, it's almost that sort of um sort of faith or religion or, mm. or whatever you want to call it practices. Uh, the book's called The Dark Hold. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's um but yeah, Moon Knight's very strange, but really cool though. I quite like it. Mm. It's, it, mm. it's strange and i get now what you were saying because i think when we talked about it last i'd watched the first episode but not the second yeah you had seen the second episode and you were saying the cg is a bit mm. and i get that it looks too polished almost like it's not like been... it's, it's not dirtied up it's the texture's not quite there it looks yeah yeah it looks, it looks... too clean for where it is however but, what i would say those kind of um zombie-ish looking guard guardians they were, were fucking creepy yeah especially yeah. with the one coming out the crack and yeah yeah putting her in, that was quite scary to be fair. which which is what the show was looking like it was going to be from the trailers like yeah. we were like oh it looks like a psychological horror yeah, yeah. and at no point really through the through the series to this point had there been a co- real kind of horror element like mm. there was i suppose there was the bit in the um uh the they went into the storage little... compartments that was a mm. bit horrifying the, uh what the god the conchu uh, conchu yeah. was sort of like do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah 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 yeah, like, yeah that was kind of creepy for sure but, but that like these were proper like horror style monsters. It was yeah. like mummy. It was the mummy, wasn't it? Really? It was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, more the mummy than the scorpion king. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Oh, talking about oh. bad CGI. <laughs> um, but to be fair, like you had that horror bit in the 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 storage lockers and stuff. But then I think mm. it was the next episode when Ethan Hawke takes him to like his little. Mm. Um, a district area. Yeah, yeah. And you got that fight at the end, and he's like, "You're in my ends now." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, For fuck's sake! <laughs> I can't deal with it's it. Like, he seems to be well spoken and like really knowledgeable, and he like loves his history, and he's like almost like a scholar. Yeah, like, you're in my ends now. And he's like, "What are you doing? <laughs> what, what, what is he? Where is he from?" Yeah, I don't know. It's um don't come down my ends and start breaking stuff or whatever oh, he said. Yeah, right? yeah. It's very much in that in that, yeah. Just in but, case um, you didn't know, this version of him's English. He's from London. Yeah. Somewhere, possibly, or the home counties. I don't know. We're yeah. not sure. <laughs> um awful. he's doing yeah. the best with what he's got, Oscar Isaac, so yeah, 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 yeah. I'm and enjoying it's like it is funny. Yeah, it's, it's enjoyable cringy, to but watch. It's funny. But when you when you kind of talk it through, you're like, oh, <laughs> Dick Dick Van Dyke, eat your heart out. Oh yeah, uh, they, yeah, they've taken that and run with it. Yeah, but, but it, it's good. It's tough. It's, it'll be a tough watch for people that people that aren't invested in Marvel. There's just no point in you watching it. I don't yeah, think. I wouldn't have thought so. Um, if you are invested in Marvel, like, but on a casual level, it's going to be a tough watch. 
Mm. And it, even for me, like who who's loving this Marvel stuff, and I do go and look into things, and I'm reading some of the books. Even I'm kind of going, I don't know what's going on. I'm enjoying yeah. it, yeah. But I've got that thing where it's like it's gonna. I know it's gonna pay off. Well, yeah, exactly. It's the same. It's 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 a formula that they've kind of perfected, isn't it? It's like throw you a bit of a curveball somewhere along the way. Uh, don't explain everything to you all at once and yeah. then in the last you know the you know they drip feed bits of information to you exa- exactly the right time where you're like oh god i don't know whether i can watch another oh right oh it makes yeah, sense yeah. now oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. i'll tune back in next time which um, is one of the things like i don't know years ago we complained about that style of thing didn't we it, it, but, yeah. it, but they're doing it they're doing it differently and it's a world we're already invested in that they're doing it yeah in. whereas when, is... when it's a particularly i'm i'm thinking about the conversation with orphan black mm-hmm. just i know I've you listening. are yeah, yeah because i've been listening to it this week the new, <laughs> so i know um but you know we've said that before where and i can't even remember what show it was that i tried to watch and i just couldn't get into it after like two or three episodes and i'm like look yeah. i spent three hours with this new universe that i know nothing about and i'm not invested in it mm. i can't dedicate more time to it mm. and that's where you were with orphan black as well whereas with this it's like we're already in this universe although moonlight's not necessarily connected directly yet it yeah. will be so we're okay with giving yeah. it time look i'm i'm in the bag for this marvel shit because yeah. I've invested so much time in, I need to see how it all ties together. Like I will be upset if I die before it ends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know what For I mean? Sure. Like not knowing the final I don't think story. It's going to end, though. That's the but problem. this is the thing, isn't it? It's so, um, like I, it, it, it will take quite a misstep for them to wind it up. I think. I mean, the comics like, are still going like, yeah. Why would they end the films? Like, yeah, exactly. I suppose so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So <sighs> great. <laughs> <laughs> but interestingly, it kind of feeds into um, like this this kind of um, way of doing things. Uh, Netflix are in a bit of trouble at the moment, aren't they? Um, they are not only uh, kind of hemorrhaging titles. But also they are clamped down on um password sharing, aren't they? Yeah, I don't know how much you seem, but somebody shared an article with us, like me in my work Discord yesterday, that I was like, hmm. Yeah, so they're basically they're losing subscribers. Yeah. Which means they're losing money because possibly because of this password sharing. So something they mm. are doing is they're clamping down on sharing accounts. Mm which is dumb because you pay to share account. I suppose it's using the same password, like in different households, isn't it? Yeah. I get that. Fine. But then loads of, loads of software allows you to have the software on say three devices. Licenses. Yeah. 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 So I don't. Netflix allows you to do that. Like Netflix accounts. It's like you can log in to three devices or whatever at the same time. Yeah. Which is fine. But I think they mean if you've paid for it, mm. you can log into three devices. So I could have one, Liz could have one, Chloe could have one. Mm. We got our Skybox we're logged into. We've got Chloe's TV, phones, iPad. We've got the family plan. So I think it's God knows how many devices. Mm. Although, no, it's, so it's simultaneous logins, isn't it? So you can log in on as many devices as you want, but you can only watch on X number of devices simultaneously. Yes. So you can log in on as many devices as you want. And I think the issue they're having is that I might have an account and I'll log in, Mm. but then I might give you my password and you're logging into my account. Mm. And that's, that, that's wrong to be fair. That is wrong. It is. I brought a Netflix account. Yeah. I don't own it. So Mm. I shouldn't be able to do what I want with it. I've, Mm. I've purchased a license to watch it. It's like you can't share a TV license. Why would you share? Yeah. You wouldn't steal a car. Um, No, I I, I totally get it. But equally at the same time, like this streaming stuff is a, is a different type of thing. Mm. Like it, and it is open to gaming in that way It is open to abuse in that way. And they've known about it since 2007 when they launched, like 
that's just part of the deal. Like yeah. you give away something that you're allowing people to log into three separate things yeah, at yeah, the yeah. same time. It's rare, I would say, I would imagine, for three different people in the same households to be on the yeah. same device, uh, same service at the same time on different devices, yeah, yeah, yeah. watching three different things. Yeah, yeah. So in that way, I might give my password to my mum for example hypothetically i i haven't oh, i haven't I, I thought it was one of those i don't think i don't think <laughs> yeah yeah i don't think i don't think i don't think i've done it um but hypothetically you could do this because <laughs> i know exactly what you mean yeah. even if me and joe are using netflix here separately which we've never done yeah. at the same time she could still watch something herself yeah, because yeah, she yeah. doesn't really want to spend that money when she's only going to watch one or two things on there yeah yeah i know that she's open to the entire library but it's unlikely that she will go rooting through for random shit in the yeah. same way that we do yeah or yeah. have um what i would also say is that um yeah, people are used to this kind of thing over the last decade and a bit, yeah, decade and a half. They're used to having this freedom. And it's not just Netflix that allows this. Disney Plus allows it. Yeah, all yeah, of the yeah. streaming, all of the streaming sites allow this kind of thing. You're allowed to watch, you know, numerous, you know, two, three people at the same time yeah, yeah. using the same service on the same password. So I don't know how this... Is it just going to be locked to one password, one device then? I don't know how they're going to do it. Um, no. I don't think they've said how they're going to do it, but they're going to crack down on it anyway. But it's... <clears throat> I'm thinking like the, the only way I could see them doing it, and it would suck because it would mean that you couldn't... If you went on holiday and you wanted to watch Netflix, because they could IP lock it. So Yeah, yeah. The way so you, they're at work, your... You've got like four sort of four groups of numbers yeah it's for your ip address you've seen an ip address and yeah. i believe the first three groups of numbers it's your location and then the last three is a particular address in your house like a device in your house so they could lock it so if anything goes outside of those three numbers in the network they would mm. go well are you sure this is you but i, mm. I don't know how they're going to do that but because like they you allow said, you to I've... download and watch elsewhere yeah, because so, I've obviously taken my laptop on work trips with me to yeah. do work, but and also in Netflix. the evening I'll sit in my hotel room and watch Netflix on my account on my laptop. Yeah. So, so I can't see them doing it that way. I don't know how they're yeah, going to do it. They're going to do trusted yeah. devices and you can literally only have a certain number of devices. I don't know. Maybe. It may yeah. be that you can only be logged in on three devices mm. and that's it, um, yeah. which doesn't necessarily stop you sharing it if you've only logged in on your TV and your laptop and then yeah. you know hypothetically you could give your mum could watch it on her tv yeah but that does limit the amount of times you can share your password true which that yeah. would work and yeah. fine fine however what's happened to their share prices uh since uh, i think the well the beginning of this year basically or the very end of last year uh they have halved they've they netflix yeah. share prices dropped 50 billion dollars i imagine in the last couple of months i imagine as of yesterday they will have dropped a lot so i i will be interested to see what happens tomorrow because they've raised their prices again haven't they rather so than they have been raising their prices mm. but they've also announced something else that they might be coming oh really advertising Oh, they're going to stick adverts in. Well, this is, yeah. I mean, it was always going to be the way that they would have to claw back revenue from like um, the number of users that have stopped using the site. Yeah. Um, I've got, I'm sure I've got another. Yeah. So the they're, is... <laughs> they're basically in the last um, from like December through to January of this year was the first time since at least 2015 if i'm mm. looking at this graph correctly that their subscribership has leveled off if not slightly reduced yeah um mm. in in since 2015 so that's seven years of, of really quite steady growth and now it's done that which is really weird 
I don't yeah. understand what's going on. Well, <laughs> also, also the Parasite's thing is coming off on Netflix as well, isn't it? So, oh, <laughs> that's not going to well, do him any good. The, the one, the one thing that I'm waiting for is Stranger Things series four, oh. and then I'm probably out. This, um, and 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 this is it. So. So the article says about them raising prices and introducing ads. It, that I don't think that's a simultaneous thing. They're not they're not introducing ads and then raising their prices. I think mm. it's more the fact that they've been steadily raising their prices. Yeah. And now they're introducing ads. Um mm. and I think it, I mean when you read the article, it's to tackle the fact that they're losing revenue because mm. they're losing subscribers, which is why they're cracking down on this thing. Introducing ads allows them to get money and they'll do it as what, it allows us to continue bringing great content one of but what they'll also do is they'll offer an, a premium an even more premium subscription so that ads. you don't have the ads they'll and introduce it'll be a like tier for ad free 20 pound yeah. a month or something like that so that you and, don't get the ads and like i say we have the family subscription so we can all watch we've also yeah. got the ultra hd like we've got the top notch yeah we're lucky that it's included in our sky package that's how we've done it i don't know how you if you've done the same thing no ours is separate no, get it in Sky package. It's cheaper. Mm. Look into that. Um, but yeah, one of my, one of my colleagues literally after that said, "I'll take ideas that will cost you more subscribers for a hundred dollars." Because <laughs> as soon as I heard about it, I was like, oh, "You know what? If they're gonna do that, yeah. I'm out, mate." Like, it'll be a it'll be a boycott. I've got Disney Plus. Yeah, no, I'm exactly. A I, and and this Disney is the shows. thing. Like and Disney the... have Star as well now, so they've got all of yeah. those like American sort of ABC and whatnot shows yeah. as well. But the other thing as well, of course, you've got to remember that Netflix was the only player in this game for so long yeah. that actually the, the great thing about Netflix for so many years was that everything was on there in one place. Yeah. And so you didn't mind Oh, it paying. had Disney and everything, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. It had, yeah. And, and it had the Marvel stuff on there and it had, you know, it had loads of, loads of stuff. But now since like HBO has got Max and Amazon has done its thing and Disney Plus has come along, it's basically like, it was a it was um a conversation I was having on Twitter with um Zach from the Real Nerds podcast and Ballyhoo Review and mm. Andy and a couple and Kev from yeah. Film Guff. And it was like um I think the question was, you know, what was the last physical film you bought or something like that? Or or it was a it was a it was a thing mm. about physical versus streaming yeah, yeah and i was like i've actually started buying albums again um because like there are certain bands and artists that i want I to give this, my money yeah. to and also like um at any point any of these services like apple music or spotify or whatever could suddenly have back catalogs of certain artists taken off and sometimes on apple music for example like an album will disappear but like the music will remain, but it will change to like it's the version from a compilation album or something. Yeah. And like, so it's all weird. And I spent fucking years cataloging my music on iTunes, like making it really, really detailed, like breakdowns of like, you know, the artists. I'll put in the tags in, put yeah, the yeah. album art in. I, yeah, <clears> because I it was something that. that I fucking loved doing. Yeah. And, and I was like, this is. I don't know. It was like, because I've it's always my been... collection. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. my collection. So, and I've done it how I want it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh no, it's just a streaming service now. And like, you know, you pay X amount a month and you get access to everything, which is great. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, however, like I say, they kind of, they fuck about with the, with, with things and they take stuff off and put stuff on and it's messy. And I don't yeah. like it. And it's the same with like um, with Netflix. I've been watching things like series or films. And then a month later, they're not there anymore. Like they take a whole bunch of stuff off because it's not popular on the algorithm. But I like it. Yeah. Like um, one of the main points was that I was watching the <laughs> X-Men cartoon from the 90s. That was on there at one point, wasn't it? Was it was on there yeah. at one point and I was about two or three series in and I had like half a series or whatever left to go and all of a sudden it was gone. Yeah. And I'm like, well, where, where, what, where did that go? Who's got that now? Like, mm. I'm, I mean, you know, and uh, it's just annoying. So uh, it's like a conversation that Joe and I were having um, literally this morning uh, when I was reading up about this stuff 
um, and we've been having it for a couple of days. The other thing that factors into this is the fact that there's a massive global cost of living crisis at the moment. And people are being like, well, Netflix is a bit of a frivolity and it doesn't have all the stuff that I used to love that was on there previously. So pff, what am I going to do? I'm going to choose Disney Plus now myself as probably the only one because it's got the Marvel stuff on there that I really want. It's got the Star Wars stuff on there that I really want and the Pixar stuff that I really want, you know, like. That was interesting because when that launched, you weren't about, you weren't interested in it. Well, I am, I'm still very much in the camp of like, there are literally only about, you know, four or five (laughs) things on there that I really want, but there are a lot of, with the stars thing, I could go and find like, there's the whole of the walking dead on there. I've never watched the walking dead, but I've always wanted to. And now I have a place where it's all on there. And the, the, the good thing about that as well is these are things like you say with the, the Marvel and the, the Pixar things and the star Wars things, they're things that, you know, you want to watch and you Mm. will watch them over and over again. And because it's on the platform that owns that product, you know, it's not going anywhere. Exactly. It's never going to disappear with yeah. the stars stuff as well. And I think stars is, I don't know if it's third party, but it has all like mm. the, I think it's Disney owned and it has all the Disney network channels. Like yeah. a, I think ABC is Disney and HBO stuff's on there. I don't know if that, mm. oh, no, no, that's all on Fox, HBO Max all the, now. all the 20 Fox, cent Fox stuff. That's all owned by Disney. Yeah. This is on a Disney platform. And that's like you say, it's, it's, it's not going to disappear. Yeah. Yeah. And Netflix this is, is third the thing. party. They pay for licenses to have these things on. Yeah not enough people were watching X-Men for them to continue paying the license to have the X-Men animated series on there. So they got rid of it. Yeah. Yeah. Which makes total business sense. Awesome. But it meant that I was like, Oh, okay. So this is not the best streaming platform because they don't own enough. Like really when it comes down to it, you've got to think like how many Netflix original things do I really like? Well, they're on Disney now. The Punisher. Daredevil, yeah, 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 yeah that Jones. stuff. But yeah, also, yeah, yeah. like, it was like I really enjoyed Squid Game, right? Yeah, I really like Stranger Things. Yes, but only really the first series. Like the second was all right, and the third was like mm, I don't know. Yeah, I'm watching this to get to the end, and then they were like, "Oh no, we're doing a fourth and I'm like, "Oh, you fuckers!" Because um, <laughs> I need to know what happens to those kids. Yeah, I know because I've spent so much time with them. But um, I'm invested in Hawkins. <laughs> I guess you know making a murderer. I enjoyed. But am I it. am I going to watch that again? No. no. Um, and and it's the same with. I don't know whether I'll go back and watch Stranger Things. I don't know whether I'll go back and watch. Um, Squid, Squid Game. Game. I mean, there's supposed to be a second I don't think series I can of that, do that coming to myself out. again. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> <to be fair>. <laughs> <laughs> but the um the thing with you know the 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 Marvel and the Star Wars stuff is it's episodic. But also Disney Plus are doing it quite cannily in that like they're like, right, this month it's Moon Knight, and then mm. next month it's Obi-Wan. And then the month after that it'll be Mandalorian 4. And then the month after that it will be whatever the next so Marvel thing is. Continue. And it's like because my whole thing is like what I'm going to do from now on is rescind my subscriptions to everything, wait for the series that I want to be complete and on Amazon, say Star Trek Picard, Mm. wait for the final episode to go out, pay my month, watch it, delete the subscription to Amazon Prime. And wait. Wait until the boys season three, (laughs) pay for my subscription, like I would buy the box set, except I don't own it. I understand that. But at the same time, it saves me shelf space. And the other thing as well and is that if you the want other to thing, watch if, them again, you can watch them in that month that you brought Yeah, you yeah, can, exactly. Yeah, yeah. They're still but there. Because the they're the other thing that. that would be good is like if the Netflix stuff, if they actually gave a home release on some of this stuff as well. The DVD, but obviously I think that Stranger was, Things you can, but like you said, really? you probably won't watch that. I thought they did do Stranger Things DVD, or Blu-rays mm. DVDs. Fucking hell. Old man. Um, yeah. It, it, it's 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 getting to do you remember when like sky came out and then they have mm. packages and you were like oh i wish i could just buy the content i want and just yeah. ad hoc channels which we and actually can these... do but only when you phone them up and tell them that you're gonna fucking but you can't buy per channel well we have want to. 
Oh, you said you only want that one channel. I was like, I don't want the sports. I just want the F1 because I don't give a fuck about any other sport. you can get F1 separately anyway. Mm. No, you can't. But only if you threaten to leave, then they'll give it to you. And it's such a fucking rigmarole. Oh, right. Um, Fair enough. But but anyway, it's, it's one of those things that every time the thing comes up for renewal, they're like, oh, we've got a great offer for you. And it's like... 30 quid more than we're already paying for but you get more stuff and you're like but i don't want that stuff it's not it's not that's the oh, thing like what they offered us this time was what we've got for 30 quid more a month and we were like fuck right off and they were oh. like well you were on a you were on an introductory thing and you're like well then keep it that i don't understand what has changed like fuck off yeah <laughs> I think the way they do it is they operate at a loss to get you for that year. So you can go, I really like this service. And then you've got to pay the extra. But we fight that every single and then time. You carry right? on Absolutely with the package fucking you got. not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. No, I don't want any more. What you've given me is enough because I don't even watch 80% of the channels that I've got anyway. Like it's a but fucking need, waste but, of money. But this is the thing is that you've got to have all of these channels to get that one channel that you do watch because that's in the family pack that you've got. You've got the family pack, which is like 60 channels, but I only want that one channel from this family mm. pack. Can mm. I not just have that one channel? Well, no, you can't. It's only it's part mm. of the pack, unfortunately. Mm. And then if you do, if you are allowed that one channel, it's going to cost you a fucking fortune just to keep that one. Yeah. Um, and that's what we wanted, this ad hoc, I want to pick and choose the channels. And it's like, well, HBO have got their service and Netflix have got the service and Disney have got the service. So you can have that one channel but it's like a tenner a month or 12 yeah. quid a month or yeah. whatever. And it's like, actually, if you add all that up, it costs more. Yeah. Um, so we've got what we wanted and it's not exactly what <laughs> we hoped it would be, but oh well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think fuck Netflix basically is, um, yeah. is the long and the short of this because mm. their, their, their original content isn't good enough to keep me interested. Not at all. Um, no, uh, like on all the stuff they did have again, like with the making a murderer and all these, like these true crime ones, I would probably enjoy them when I wanted to watch if, if I was going to watch them, mm. but I'd only watch them because they were there, not because yeah, I yeah. want to or I'm looking for that sort of thing. Like, it's there's just no like, that sounds interesting. Let's stick it there's on. no way I'd watch Tiger King if it weren't in the zeitgeist <laughs> and I wasn't doing fucking anything, yeah, in at the beginning of 2020 like the fact that the world stopped meant that i could watch this thing that everyone was talking about and yeah it was weird and fun but it wasn't really like i felt dirty watching Mm. it that's why i won't watch the jimmy savile one no no again for me it's just like morbid curiosity and it's like yeah. there's people like people want to watch it and i'm like no i don't like Madden i already Kane documentaries i won't watch yeah i already know that this stuff is tainted and awful anyway i don't mm. need to have it shoved down my throat that this guy was such a abhorrent cunt yeah like i don't need it in my life what's it gonna do for me to watch that right? <clears throat> yeah. what's it gonna do yeah. it's gonna make me go oh yeah i was right <laughs> exactly and now i feel almost complicit because and, or, i've sat or, here and watched yeah. three hours of it or you're gonna go well, <laughs> how did nobody know which we've already yeah. asked yeah. which we've already asked how did no one know we've been through this yeah yeah, yeah. that's uh, all it's gonna do for you it's although there is a really interesting documentary coming to netflix that i do kind of want to watch all right but again it's also ugh. And i don't know if you've seen it's that doctor the most successful like IVF doctor in America. Um, it's all about him. It's basically, I think it starts out where this woman goes onto ancestry.com with her DNA results and tries to find her family or, or, mm. or she's just doing her family tree. And she finds out that she's related to like 200 people in her town. Oh yes. I have yeah. seen. Yeah. 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 yeah, and yeah. It's just like, what and wasn't it, the isn't, fuck? Isn't it? him as well like yeah, he's, he's the one who's the, donated the, all the sperm right yeah, well, yeah donated all the sperm yeah yeah, um, yeah i don't know the i was going to say i don't know the yeah, it wasn't the sperm, sperm. He, he it wasn't the sperm he was supposed to be using oh, when he inseminated goodness. his eggs yeah mm. and that is fucked up yeah and that's something i want to watch because i don't know anything about it yeah sure. and i'm like what the fuck is this this is messed up mm. what causes someone to do that um but I almost think, isn't this like the uh, equivalent of Netflix going into clickbait territory? Yeah. 
basically yeah. it's like please stay because we've got this yeah really shocking thing that we can show you won't imagine you you can't imagine what happens next would you call it buzz flicks or net feed <laughs> net feed i like yeah because it's just yeah feeding yeah, they'll, they'll release documentaries like top and it's not it's never 10 it's never top 10 is it It'll be like <laughs> top 17 <laughs> <laughs> 32 reasons why you should blah 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 i mean they've already got 13 and, reasons why haven't they? And, number fi- and number 16 will blow your mind yeah yeah and that's the name of the series <laughs> um but yeah i mean they've already got that sort of team drama show called 13 reasons why haven't they Which oh that's like true the yeah, suicide yeah. tape thing yeah um yeah. so they've, they've already started um <laughs> with a click <laughs> And they do have the lists as well, don't they? Like top 10 this month, top 10 shows this month. And <laughs> they just extend now it. And <laughs> they just extend it to 17 to make you like, oh, really? Yeah. 17? Why not 10? What's yeah, the extra seven? Oh, there must be something good in here. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's an odd number to choose. And there must be a reason. <laughs> and that's just that weird sort of clickbaity SEO marketing, isn't it? Yeah, it so people are more likely to look at a top 11 list than a top 10 list. Yeah. It's what it, it's like it when started you sell out. stuff on eBay, you're more likely to sell it if it's like ten pound ninety seven yeah. than eleven pound or yeah. ten ninety nine because because yeah. ninety nine people are like oh ten ninety seven yeah. oh. oh or oh, mark it up what's... slightly but give free shipping because yeah free shipping is better than paying shipping even yeah. though shipping and the price on that listing is cheaper than the free shipping listing that's free <laughs> shipping I'm getting a deal because humans are stupid. <laughs> Yeah, marketing is brilliant. Humans are stupid. Uh, I mean, that whole weird odd number thing started off on women's mags, you know, mm. on the front cover of um, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, whatever they are. Like, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, Let's yeah, that, that, that kind of thing. Weekly. Or like those ones where someone's had, <laughs> those ones where someone's had sex with a ghost or something like that, you know. <laughs> I left my hubby for the ghost of a sea pirate. Because um, hubby is always the word. Yeah, hubby. Ugh. Also, um, top fourteen makeup products this yeah, month. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all that, and You're it worked. Inside. And it worked there. So, like, yeah, yeah. the internet took it and has made it something completely different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it will be interesting to have a look at Netflix in about five years' time and see how many like random. If it's there. Yeah, if it's there, uh, see how many because like literally when you look at the graph of their share prices, it's now lower than it was three years ago, which is and it had risen ridiculously mm. high. Um, I think they've also I don't know if they've got it in the UK but there's certain regions where they're still doing the DVDs oh really yeah that's the first time I used Netflix was mm. to rent DVDs yeah because they used to send did... them through the post then you'd watch it and send it back through the post Ooh. I actually did that and you could keep it for as long as you want yeah but you can only have like they, they did tiers there where you could have you could pay for three at a time or five at a time i think it was yeah and obviously if you don't send one back you don't get your new one but you built up a queue so as soon Mm. as you sent one back they send out your new one and it's like a monthly subscription like dvd service and it was quite Mm. good until i stopped caring and stopped sending them back and was just paying this money and not getting any new films (laughs) to watch and you could rent box sets and that would count that would count as one rental okay you could get box sets right that's the way they've always made their money and it's the way all these subscription based things always make their money is that they 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 rely on you not giving a shit after a certain amount of time but i think that's starting to bite them in the ass especially with Mm. you know the cost of living crisis at the moment as it is people are looking around and being like fucking hell we spend 16 quid a month on netflix when was the last time you watched anything on netflix and this is the thing. Liz watches Netflix a lot. We don't really watch a huge like Disney's one of those ones that we've got and we will continue to pay for it. We we pay yearly anyway. It's mm. not a monthly thing, we pay yearly. Mm. Um but it's one that we don't use a lot. But if we ever want something to watch, it's gonna be a Marvel film or a Pixar film that we would just chuck on and it's just there conveniently. Yeah. Um and you know, we could have saved ourselves some money by getting all these things on Blu-ray. Mm. But it's not as convenient having to crack mm. out the Blu-ray and stick it. Like we just go to our TV and choose it. Yeah. Um, Prime is one of those as well where we are watching the boys, but it's not a regular thing we're watching. So mm. we might watch an episode a week or something, but we're paying however much money, but we do shop quite a bit on Amazon. So we yeah. use the Prime delivery 
So yeah, which is where Prime gets you, isn't it? It's like, well, I'm not really, I'm not really, because they also give you a a X amount of free audio books a month and things like that. And this is it. So you've got your Prime reading library. So if you've got a Kindle and you're a reader, like you pay one fee and you Mm. get you get the shipping the next day or same day is free shipping. Mm. You get the books, you get the video, the Prime seat video service. Like they give you a lot of stuff for that money. Mm. So yeah. And it costs like all about the same as Netflix or Disney. It's about eight quid, isn't it? Yeah, it's not expensive. Yeah. For what yeah. it is, it's great. Mm. Mm. And you get your Prime deals as well. Consumer advice from anywhere but here. Prime is probably one of the best. Yeah, no, you're there, absolutely sure. right. It's just a shame that, you know. They do those deals. I brought myself a weighted blanket. It was on <laughs> it was on offer. Yeah. I probably wouldn't have brought it if it wasn't on offer. But it was. So Amazon's doing its thing. Mm. Very well. Did you go through the banner? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can because we've moved. No, because yeah, it I know. Just I... to my address. Mm. I wonder whether you would be able to do mm. it. Now. Interesting. Because I, I think I'm the time. only person who uses our apps. <laughs> <laughs> and even then, I forget it a lot of the time. Yeah. <laughs> Please use our Amazon. You should, do, you should have it bookmarked. So that's <laughs> yeah. actually your Amazon LinkedIn and you won't forget. Top tips. Yeah. Yeah. We Make gave that one everyone. out. Mm, yeah. Mm, um. Yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah. So uh, the end of Netflix, I think we're witnessing it. It's not doing well, is it? Um, no. The thing is, there's a lot of people who are complacent and will be like, oh, okay. Mm. There's a lot, you, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of people who go on YouTube is a free service. So mm. it's, it's a bit different. And they will quite happily sit and wait for an advert to watch their video. And they, I mean, Netflix isn't the first to do it. I mean, Prime has adverts. Mm. But uh, you can skip them. Not right away, I don't think. No? Um, I'm not sure. And I think, I mean, you can fast forward them, I think. I don't know. But they mm. do have adverts. Um, Sky on demand has adverts when you download yeah. and stream. Um, you know, But you can fast HBO, forward those as well. <laughs> I think HBO Go has adverts mm. hbo max doesn't i think mm. so they've got the two-tier subscription you pay extra yeah. and you don't have the adverts and people yeah. will do that i pay for youtube premium i so I, I can't be dealing with the adverts the adverts on youtube do piss me off but it's, i also it... like youtube and that gives me the opportunity to download videos so we're going up to london yesterday i downloaded some videos to watch on my phone because the signal mm. drops out that's mm. really handy it's you know i use it i do use it yeah. quite a bit this so, is it it's what you want it for isn't it you know yeah um and that's like a five or i think yeah 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 but uh <laughs> i just yeah i don't know after after stranger things i think i'm out yeah. which means i've got to do a lot of star trek binge watching in the meantime because i've still got like all of voyager and half of ds9 to get through which is stupid numbers of yeah. hours it's I mean, literally I, I, all we all our usage is me watching Star Trek, and even that hasn't happened in a long time because I just don't have the time for it anymore. Um, yeah, I mean, it's one hundreds, episode every now and then. Like you say, it's hundreds of hours to get through. I, yeah. I watched the D that D and D campaign. That that's yeah. ridiculous. Numbers, right. like. But I equally, I could buy all the box sets, and it would probably yeah. be cheaper for me to do that. So that's something yeah. I'm also considering doing, or maybe asking Corky if I could Tomorrow. loan. Yeah, yeah. Cause let's face it. He's got everything. He will have it all. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Perhaps I should just do that. Like once a week at band practice, give me a new. <laughs> new box set. And the, the fact that you're borrowing it off of someone, I've still got a couple of your DVDs actually. Have you? Yeah. I think um, Evangelion. Oh, bloody hell. Kira, maybe. Fuck me. That was. Oh, it, was, yeah, it was when we were recording at your house. Yeah, yeah. I keep opening the drawer occasion and going, oh, <laughs> because we don't watch DVDs and stuff, so nah. I don't see them. They're there. Nah. But I, I, to be fair, I don't think I've watched uh, Ghost in a Shell as well. I think I watched Ghost in a Shell. Mm. I don't think I watched Evangelion yet. Um, but I do want to. <laughs> yeah, I, it's I, it's I, really I not it. a big deal. Like no, I, no, no, I'd, yeah. com- I'd forgotten I'd even given them to I, you. I could have kept them. No. <laughs> I will watch them and give them back. Um, but yeah, it, it's just one of those things. Um, 
Yeah, it's kind of on its way out. Um, it's one of those things, obviously, because it, but like you say, because it's pretty much just you using Netflix mm. and Joe's not the, the sort of person to just go on and scroll through and find something to watch. That's not entirely true. Oh, she right. does watch a lot of the crime documentaries. Oh, uh, okay. Um, okay. However, so she also said, you know, if they weren't in front of me and I didn't have the watch. option to watch them, I probably wouldn't watch them. You know, it's, it's one of those. Is it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing I think I'd need to discuss. Obviously, with me and Liz, it'll probably be easy because it's like we, we go money. So mm. we probably get rid of it. It's included in our Sky subscription. So I don't know if because we got the HD, back, uh, the HD plus pack on Sky, I mm. think it's included. Your Netflix subscription is included if you've got yeah. the 4K pack. And that's fair. Um, so it's just there. So, mm. um, yeah, but like with us, it would be something that we'd discuss. And because we're both adults and it's money, we'd probably be like, well, yeah, you know, we could live without it. We've got all these other yeah. services. But Chloe loves her Netflix. Right. She will rewatch Stranger Things on a weekly basis. Oh, right? Okay. So it'd be difficult, but if you can buy it, I mean, we'd probably do that mm, <laughs> instead. Mm. Well, it would make sense, wouldn't it, if you can do it for a one-off price rather she, than keep playing monthly for the... And she's she's got my PS4, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, she's got my PS4, so she'd be able to watch Blu-rays and shit out there. Yeah, you can go. Mm. Oh, there one, you go. Seasons one to three on Amazon. Um on Amazon, on, on, on Amazon, you see? <laughs> yeah. Stranger Things. What did I search? Blu-ray. Um, I mean, this is, this is great podcasting content, this hand. Yeah, you, shopping. Through, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 shopping. It's like 40 like, quid for the DVDs. So. Live, live shopping. As yeah. done I'm not buying it, but you can. <laughs> you can. If you can get it through the abhpod.com, uh, go through the Amazon banner and buy it. 40 quid exactly. for seasons one to three on DVD. Yes, oh, indeed. Oh, yes, okay. indeed. Yes, uh, indeed. <laughs> Uh, finally, some really good news. Uh, hey. So da- David Attenborough has been named champion of the earth by the uh, United Nations. Yes. Um, champion of the earth is almost Mate. guardians of the galaxy. It's fucking Highlander. Isn't <laughs> <laughs> there can be only one. He's the uh, hero of the earth. Yeah. I just hope that people are actually listening to what he's saying and aren't just doing this to be like, Oh, he's done lots. He's, he's old. He, he deserves yeah. a title. I kind of hope something actually comes of this and yeah. that the climate thing is taken seriously. Um, somehow <laughs> I, I doubt it. I'm just thinking it's like, fuck the Avengers. David Attenborough is Earth's mightiest hero. <laughs> <laughs> is it, it is the Avengers Earth's mightiest heroes, isn't it? Yeah. I think it was in the title. Anyway, yeah. regardless. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, uh, um, I feel like a lot of people will be like, well, he got that because he makes lots of documentaries about the Earth, doesn't he? Mm. Um, not actually knowing why he's making those documentaries. Raising awareness, uh, inv- you know, just just activism in general. It's a form of activism in a way. Yeah. Um, as I say, I hope that uh, enough notice is being taken of what the message behind the documentaries are. Yeah. Um, because it's getting to a point, apparently, where pretty soon it's going to be irreversible. So yeah. with any luck... You know, people will start, uh, you know, taking it it's... fucking seriously. But just the fact that he's been given the title of champion of the earth is amazing. I isn't fucking it? love yeah. because uh, it just it sounds like something out of a comic book. <laughs> so David Attenborough, C O E. Like if Thanos C-O-E-M-B-E. turns up, <laughs> if Thanos really does turn up, it's David at the forefront of the charge, holding Mjol- Mjolnir. <laughs> No, nah, mate, he wouldn't. He just, he just, just get Thanos and just be like, look, come here. Let me just tell you a story. And like Thanos would be asleep, and that would be it. Like it'd be no threat anymore. <laughs> so get David Amber to narrate and tell him why he's wrong for what he's doing, and like tell him that he's disappointed in him. And Thanos would just be like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> 
But um, I mean, regardless of like or even the stuff that David Attenborough is doing now to raise awareness, it's something he's always done for like and, seventy years. And I think a lot of what he's done in the past has contributed to just some of the measures that like big corporations and companies are taking now. Like mm. and think like he's already made a huge impact, but. N- it's nowhere near enough unfortunately mm, um more needs to be done i but... mean like just we were talking about it at work because on friday cause friday was earth day and that's right our, our company do like a, trying to get people back into the office so on a friday there's usually like a, a treat in the office and we had pizzas we had vegetarian and vegan pizzas because it's earth day you know yeah so cut down on the meat do your bit uh, just but we were talking about it on a call and like so I was like, oh, what's, what's Earth Day? Where's where's this come from? Like, it was a thing that happens every year and it has mm. for a long time and people aren't aware of it. Mm. And I'm like, there's Earth Hour. What's Earth Hour? And so like, it's not usually a UK thing generally, but it is a big thing online. Mm. Earth Hour. Um so I don't know, people still aren't aware of what it is or why we're doing it. But more people are. Yeah. Because it's yeah. being pushed more through companies like yours i guess you know it's, got, uh, it is raising awareness and yeah. that's the point isn't it uh, i've got um, a lot of hope from like uh, uh, the next generation of kids coming up and stuff like yeah they all they all seem to be with it like on mm. certain subjects they're still dumb as fuck but for the kids <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know what i mean they're still they're still kids so they still <sighs> think they know more than they do but They've got a lot more awareness of, of, yeah. of things that they need to have awareness of. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I love that as a piece to go out of. I've got yeah. faith in them, but they are dumb as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I hope they yeah. Don't miss well, a point. <laughs> I'm sure what's, they in, will. <laughs> what's interesting is that whole kind of back to the office thing. I've yeah. got something that I might want to talk about maybe on a sport on a, on a, after the podcast podcast, yeah. uh, maybe I'll get angry. Maybe oh, we'll yeah. both get angry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, awesome. So, uh, so let's go and do that. Let's go get angry. Uh, so, you know, if you're a patron, you're about to hear a rant. Brilliant. Um, if you're, if you're not, it's only a dollar a month or a pound yeah. a month. Why not just subscribe and hear me melt down yeah. about back to work strategies and if you think it's not worth just do it for the month and listen to it as much as you can there's loads yeah. over there hundreds of hours of content really actually is isn't yeah. it yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Awesome. Uh, so yeah okay cool well until next time i've been tom and i've been Ant. and david attenborough is champion of the earth legend bye, bye. there you go sorted <laughs>